Welcome! This is Yvette from Shortpoint. Shortpoint has over 60 design elements that can help capture your users' interest and engage them with content on your intranet page. In this video, you will learn how to add a new design element to your page and use it to display your content. You will also learn how to modify its settings to meet your design requirements. When editing a Shortpoint web part, you will find black plus buttons in spaces where a design element can be added. You will also find it when you start from a blank section or row. By clicking the button, you will see a selection of design elements that are available for you to use. They are divided into different categories and you can scroll down to find what you need. However, the easiest way to find what you're looking for is to use the search field. As an example, let's create quick links to different resources in your organization using the tiles design element. Once added, the most basic form of the design element will be inserted to your page, and it will have placeholder content. To edit the content, go to the Items tab. Here you will find the three default tiles that you see on your page. Press the cogwheel icon in the first item to edit the content of the first tile. Change the name in the title field to show the first resource you want to add. You can also add a description of the resource if you want. Add a link to where your users will be directed and choose whether you want to open it in a new window, a light box, or a dialog box. By default, it will open in the same window. There are other items you can add to each tile, such as an icon or an image, but let's keep it simple for now. Do the same for the other items. Now let's customize a few settings of the tiles design element. In the design tab, you will find different style options specific to tiles that you can modify. You can change the size, color, text alignment, shape, and more. Scroll down for more settings that you can modify depending on how you want the design element to behave. Let's go back to the Items tab and add more tiles since we have more resources to link to. You have the option to duplicate a tile, and drag a tile to rearrange them whenever you need to. Once you're done, Hit the Apply Changes button and your new design element is complete. You can hit the Preview button to see how your page looks like and then hit Save to keep all your changes. Now you know how to insert a new design element and how to add your own content. There is so much you can do with the design elements that are available at your fingertips. Thank you for watching!